I am a curry muncher. But guess what? There's 500,000 curry munchers in Australia now. So please, let's forget about natural tolerance. We don't want to be tolerated. We just want to be accepted as one of you. So hey, show us that way on film and television. <coughs> well, I was born colorblind. I wish it was contagious. Now, if I was to say something like that, I would be in all sorts of hot water. But this man gets away with it. Raj, a very good afternoon to you. How are you? Very, very good afternoon to you as well. I'm very well, thank you. Nice to be talking with you, Raj. It's great. Thank you so much. The age of 11, goodness. Mm. You know, won that competition. <laughs> you said, I'm going to be an actor. Well, I was not good at anything else before that. Um, it was funny. That's how the show starts. It's... It, the show itself is pretty much about my life, you know, uh, as a little kid, and my dad encouraged me to become a performer because he tried everything else. Nothing else worked. I wasn't <laughs> academic in those days. Yeah. I was um, uh, I was hopeless at cricket, the only Indian who was. <laughs> and my, dad, my dad played county cricket in England oh. and um, soccer, you know. So it was just, it was one thing after another, and then it was um, a school drama competition, and Dad pretty much jumped up on his chair, applauding, screaming, and I think he was just pleased to write me found something, go with it. Well, so, well, um, yeah. he encouraged me. Yeah, well, well, that's great to have that encouragement behind you. Of course, your parents had some background, didn't they, in the industry too? No, uh, well, my dad was actually a lawyer, but he, um, oh, my parents had a political background, actually, with South African Indians, but um, he, he, he's, he loves the arts. He yes. loved opera, he loved classical music, he was a classical music buff, but um, but he didn't actually play anything or, or do anything himself. He, he Just enjoyed to it. to be an observer. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah. See, I, I was reading about you when I uh, did some research in your bio and so on, that you've always dabbled in, in poetry and writing and so on, and yes. uh, that, that became a natural, I suppose, transition for you uh, to, is, to become yes. a writer. Yes, look, it was... <clears throat> It was years ago, I don't want to say how many years ago, because it was away my age, but yeah, <laughs> over 20 years ago, um, that I wrote my first play, Swami Charlie. Um, yeah. It was a two-hander. And it's funny, it's come full circle, because the um, the lead actress in that is actually my director visit, because I'm Indian, Carolyn Bach. And um, so it's sort of, we've come full circle with that as well, which is which is great. But the um, the show itself, is it's it's a comedy drama, so it, it's funny, but there are some some poignant moments in there when, when I talk about the past and in fact to be honest even even bullying that I have experienced um, as a child at school and in the workplace again as an adult so it deals with a lot of different um, different issues in there that I think um, most of us can relate to Raj was that level. because you're Indian? Look Yes or no? Yes, it is. But I mean, bullies will be bullies no matter what. They will that's find right. somebody for whatever say that reason. Too. Yeah, that's right. And it could have been, you know, for whatever reason. But but this is the thing that stood out to them. In the workplace, it's different again now because I think a lot of times people will pigeonhole for Indians that they they assume that will look a certain way, sound a certain way, and perhaps if you don't, that 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 sort of throws them a bit. I mean, even as an actor uh, in auditions, I mean, uh, that's one thing we do with in, in the show, that, that quite often I'm expected to be more Indian because I'm not how they see an Indian. You know, so it's... Um, and I used to be like, you know, we don't all wobble our heads when we talk. Well, yeah. see, th 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 that's what I was getting to uh, when we started this conversation out with you. When I did the intro, I said that you um, had... Well, you've got a crackling over the uh, the phone there somehow, but we'll, so, we'll, yeah. we'll keep going. Can you hear that crackling too? Uh, yes, a little bit, but it's fine yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah, but let's just... Uh, Oh, it's still there. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll proceed. But uh, in the intro, I did say that you had rejection after rejection, and, and that did happen, didn't it? Was that because you were uh, Indian background? Well, it's funny. Uh, in the days so before setting headshots and things, I'd go for an audition because somebody recommended me, and, and they wouldn't know what my full name, Rajendra, is, and it would sort of be like a look, with, oh, okay. Um, I think the very first audition that I went to, I rang um, uh, and put my name down and went there, and she said, oh, I didn't, I didn't realise you're from the background you're from, and the role was as a doctor. Now, 20-odd years later... Yes. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Every second doctor in Australia. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and look, they're, they're, they're wonderful doctors. Um, we live in a multicultural society, and uh, yeah, it's wonderful. wonderful. The street we live in, we've got uh, Indians living next door to us and across the road. Yeah. They are the most beautiful, beautiful people. Any human is beautiful. You get the odd person here and there that may not be, but that's very, uh, you know, very seldom, <laughs> isn't it? Look, that's the thing that my dad loves about Australia when we came from England. He wanted to come to this place. He said, and he, even in those days, it was becoming so multicultural. And now, I mean, that's, that's I always, I, I, I'm a big advocate for saying that we live in the most amazing country in the world. And when you do look and you see every race together, yes, you do get a couple of idiots here and there. But mm. you know what? 
we're, as you said, we're all human beings. That, that's right. The, the, the show you're bringing downtown, uh, is mm. it because I'm Indian, um, yes. came through a, a conversation you'd had. You did a voiceover, I believe. Yes. And a friend yes, said to you, yeah, well, why don't you do this? Um, so from that, you uh, then tried, to, I think, to get into Sydney somehow, didn't you? You had about a three-week yes. uh, leeway to, to, to present your program. As a show then, yes. Yeah. Short and sweet in Sydney. Um, and so I wrote it as a 10-minute show, and it absolutely went nuts. They loved it and called me back to the gala performance in front of um, 600 people, 800 people or something. Um, and, it, and I just decided then, you know what, this, I had always wanted it to be a full-length show. So I went back and developed some of that, and then we did um, Melbourne Fringe that year. That was 2014, and it went it brilliantly. So I did Adelaide Fringe, and then Comedy Festival last year at Chapel Off Chapel, yes. which went brilliantly. And then, and then it got picked up and went to Malaysia. That, that, that's wonderful. A week in Kuala Lumpur, yes. Yeah, wonderful. absolutely. How do, well, look, you can. This is a silly question I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to say to you, how do you get away with saying curry muncher? Now, of uh, course, the, the, the Indians in the I'm audience are going to love it. it because right? I am reclaiming it. Because <laughs> it's, it's a term that's been used to me that is so offensive. Yes, so I think I, so. I turn around and say, yes, I am a curry muncher. And you know what? I'm yeah. proud of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I, I, I don't like the term at all. I, I think it's uh, quite derogatory. But mm. coming from someone like yourself and uh, yeah. taking the mickey out of yourself, as it were, uh, it works. Yeah. And to be honest, it's not even taking the mickey out of myself. It's reclaiming it. Yes. It's, it's taking the mickey out of the people who take the mickey out of me. Yeah, and, that's and, it. And other that's Indians. It. Yep. So it's, it is reclaiming it. It's giving us that strength back, which, yeah. which uh, you know what? This is me. This is how I am. Yeah. And every, every one of us, we are individual. We are how we are. Um, and nobody has the right to pigeonhole us or tell us that we have to be a certain way or, or call us names for it. And no matter do, who we are. Take it back, laugh. Well, we Aussies were always called skips, as you probably remember. Yeah. Yep. And uh, skips because of the kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, and that's in my show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? Ah, okay. I've struck on something there. Well, you've had your ups and downs. You've had those rejections and, and so on, the, the emotional parts of your life too with Dad having passed away, and he was a, a great uh, you know, yeah. backer to you there, of course, over, over the time. Um, your show is coming to the Cadinia Culture... No, to the Drum Theatre. Stand on Grub, yes. Yeah, that's right. Now, when are you performing that? It's on... Um, Saturday, Saturday week, so Saturday tomorrow week. week. Yeah, tomorrow yes. week, the 21st. Yes. I love the way the, the, um, the promos for this say four plus age group. So it's a family <laughs> event. <laughs> well, I have actually said um, that, look, there are a couple of expertise. So I'm repeating what was said to me. It is up to the parents' discretion. We've always had kids there. Yeah. I performed it in Malaysia um, with a room full of wonderful Muslim ladies in hijabs, <laughs> and they didn't have a problem with it. So I do I do always say beforehand, yeah. please just decide if you think um, that they, it is nothing gratuitous. It is just what was repeating what was said to me. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun. It really is. You sound like a lovely chap. I'd love to meet you personally one day. At, uh, I'll be great. Well, yeah. hopefully you can get along to the show. Yeah, love to. Yeah, yeah. Saturday night, the uh, the twenty first of April. So it's next yes, Saturday. Yes, April and mm. Trump. Yep, you can bring a uh, book out. Did you say April? It's May, May 21. Um, and you can book at the Drum Theatre in Dandenong, a lovely space. You, you played there before? I haven't, no. I am very much looking forward to it. It's an amazing place, and they're so supportive. Yes. Absolutely wonderful, faultless, so um, I can't wait. Well, I've got the director of the theatre coming on with us about 10 to 1, this, or 10 to 2 this afternoon, so uh, you yes. might even hear David uh, talking to us too. So, oh, Greg, rather, Greg uh, Hordaker. All right, Pell, you take care. Have a lovely uh, production down much. here, and uh, don't forget we've got the Cadinia Cultural Centre down this way too. You okay. might even try and get down there and do some performing one day. They'd love to have you down there. I would love to. Mm. And in the meantime, absolutely loving loving being at Drum. And the whole Daniel community is so supportive. They're just absolutely beautiful. Good to talk to you, pal. Take care. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, bye-bye.